Yeah, so the question is, is homosexuality sin equal to or greater than uh, fornication? And here's what I want to say first. Number one, understand that sin is sin in the eyes of God. Number two, uh, every sin wears different levels of punishment, just like in, in, in law. Uh, every crime or every violation of a law that is broken carries out different penalties or different levels of penalties depending on the law. So a sin is sin, but every sin does not carry the same punishment level. There is what is called sin. And then there is what is called sin of abomination. What is, what is abomination? Abomination is basically something that is deplorable. God hates it. God detests it. And he cringes at it because that type of sin denies his glory. For example, a homosexuality, men with men, women with women, it robs God of his glory. So he categorizes that as abomination and that sin is unto death in fact the bible speaks in first john chapter 5 concerning that there is a sin that leads unto death and then there is another sin that leads not unto death so different categories of sin both sin one carries a death penalty and the other one does not and homosexuality is one of those abomination sin that carries a penalty of death. So the homosexuality sin is a sin that carries the penalty unto death. What does that mean? It means this, that that sin, God categorizes that sin. Remember, sin is sin in the eyes of God, but some sins carry different punishment levels. Some unto death, some not unto death. And homosexuality is a sin that carries unto death and that means the person will lose their soul automatically unless there is a hundred percent repentance and the blood of jesus washing away that sin again that is a sin unto death and i'm talking about spiritually spiritually unto death and only the blood of jesus as any sin can clear that person from uh eternal death the sin of homosexuality you don't understand this is in the bible why does god number one sin is sin we understand that but every sin carries a different level of penalty just like the law you you run a traffic light it's a hundred dollars you kill somebody guess what there's electric chair right they're both a violation but not all violations are equal like sin not all sins are equal. One is unto death, one is not. And, and the reason why homosexuality is a, an abomination, because in, in Romans chapter 1, it carries the connotation that it robs God of His glory. Fornication doesn't. That's a sin. There's a penalty there. But the one that robs God of His glory is the abomination. And that's the one that is unto death. For since the creation of the world, I'm reading Romans chapter 1 verse 20. His invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. That's humanity. Even his eternal power in Godhead, so that <clears throat> they would be without excuse. Uh, verse 21. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful but became, became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. And they changed, here it is, they changed the glory of the incorruptible God. What is the glory of the incorruptible God? It's the glory of God in the image of man. They, they corrupted the image of man, which is God's glory in man. They, they changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man and birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. Therefore, God gave them up to uncleanliness in the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves. 
who exchanged the truth of God for a lie. And they worship the creation or the creature themselves rather than the creator who is blessed forever. For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions. For even women exchange their natural use uh, for another woman. Likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, they burned in their lust for one another, man with man, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their errors. So this is why homosexuality is an abomination. It corrupts, it robs God of his glory. It robs God of his glory. And the glory of God is in the image of man. So when that glory is corrupted, it becomes an abomination that turns to become a sin unto death. It is a sin that carries a death penalty or a death sentence. But thank be, thanks be to God that the Lord Jesus Christ has paid the price that no matter what the level of sin may be, the blood of Jesus still has power to execute the liberation and the freedom and the forgiveness that God wants to give us to set us free. The blood of Jesus is the way out. Hallelujah. Follow us on Facebook, Ed Citronelli Ministries, a ministry on the rise worldwide. Like our page and stay connected through live streaming videos and daily posts from Prophet Ed. Ed Citronelli Ministries, where the Holy Spirit is changing lives through Jesus Christ. Citronelli Ministry, touching people, touching nations, and touching the world for the glory of Jesus Christ.